Hi everybody, Eduardo from FuelTech and I'm here with Elmery yep. to talk about this beautiful piece of machine that it has some power that goes in between your legs. Yeah, and about 2,000. About 2,000 horsepower to put all that into one wheel to go down the track probably as soon as possible, right? Yep. How fast do you think you are gonna be going with this? Or have you been doing some testing, I believe, already? Yeah. It's 100% controlled by an FT600. Yep. And with some amount of nitro on it, right? 85%. 85%. <laughs> <laughs> and a nice engine, a two-cylinder engine with a small supercharger on it that it's capable to go with no gears, right? Yeah, only one gear. Direct drive, yep. and hopefully to go as fast as possible. Yep. Now, tell me about some testing that you have been doing, how the bike feels, and how it's going, the progression of testing of this equipment. So, you, you know, I started this summer racing with this bike. I haven't done anything like this before. I did five races total, and you know, First time I ride this bike, I had, I had no clue what's gonna happen when I opened the throttle. I was so nervous. But, you know, everything went smoothly. Last race, I did 385 on 8 mile. It was pretty good. Yeah. So pretty it's good. amazing. Uh, so that's gonna be about 5 seconds already on yeah. per mile. Yeah. So it's pretty fast, if you ask me. And. How many passes have you already done with the bike, testing it and this setup? Uh, this summer I did 25 passes. 25 passes yeah. at least. And everything, it's the way it is here, have you changed something between that or how it, it has been running? In general, the motor is the same. Okay. The setup on the fuel deck has been changing every time. Settings, obviously, yeah. you would need to adjust everything in order to go every time faster and yeah. faster and keep that constant time yep. being lower, right? Yep. But at least the bike has to behave, behave the way that you want. Yes. yes. So that is something very, very impressive. With only two cylinders making more than 2,000 horsepower. Yep. Actually, that is amazing. And again, to me, if you ask me, I don't want to be, have that in between my legs. <laughs> but. You know, I use Good Kevlar. Luck. I use Kevlar. Yeah, no for sure. Protection no and safety yeah. is always number one. Yeah. So really an amazing machine and an amazing bike. And hopefully you are going to see this kind of bikes more next year. So you will. be you sure will. to be in touch. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Monique Ambrosi. I'm from FuelTech Australia and we are here with Ryan Martin today at the 2023 PRI Trade Show. Ryan, you were over in Australia earlier this year. I was. How did you enjoy racing over in Australia? Uh, you know, Australia was great. Um, anytime I get the opportunity to go race in another country, we're going to take that. Uh, and for us, it didn't disappoint, you know, uh, getting to uh, just kind of know the culture that you guys, you know, have over there and how it is different from ours over here. That was fun in itself. And then just getting a little fun, friendly uh, rivalry, right? That uh, it was a good time, though. That's right. You had a little bit of an incident that occurred over in Australia. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, yeah. You look. But what, Perth was our first spot that we landed at over there, and that was our first racetrack. And unfortunately, um, very early on, probably about a, maybe a, the first pass or the second pass there, uh, got a little loose in the big end and stuck this thing in the wall. Um, unfortunately, it caused us to be done for that event at Perth. But we hooked up with the guys over at Moitz, Skip at Moitz, and, and we got with those guys and uh, and took it in their shop and thrashed for three days straight and were able to make all of the rest of the events. Oh, you did great. So you guys had 
a great fabrication shop, so I'm actually fabricating myself. Yes. And I'm based in Melbourne, so you have Sydney guys um, helping you out, which you was Glenn Davies at Moitz Motor Cars. They do some really good work over there. They, they, yeah, I will tell you, I've been fortunate enough to work with a lot of chassis shops, and they are top tier. Cool. Yeah. So you are excited to race next season. Do you have anything new or exciting coming up that you want to tell us about? Yeah, I'm always excited to race next season. You know, when we finish up the, the you know, we just finished up the previous season here, 2023, and and for us, it's always a breath of fresh air to be able to relax and chill out with the family. But also, we're already ready to get right here for next season. So we've got some changes that we're making for the cars uh, for 2024, trying to be a little more competitive than we already are, uh, and just kind of stay up on top. Thank you so much for coming along today and actually being into our interview for FuelTech USA and Australia. So it's nice to collaborate and be over here for the PRI trade show. It is the final day here. Thank you for joining us. We hope you've all had a great time. Now, let's go have a look around at PRI and see if we can find some more cars that have fuel tech on them. Hello everybody, Eduardo from Fuel Tech. I'm here with Sean and Danny and with this beautiful white truck. What do we have here? We have a lot of race cars. Uh, we're not planning on stripping this thing down. It's always gonna have air conditioner. Or it, it's always gonna have all the luxuries that we want. Uh, okay. Basically, uh, everybody knows the, the man van that we used to have. Uh, this is what we replaced it with. Okay, okay. Let me tell you, it looks amazing. And the, I love the color and I personally love trucks. And especially, I love everything that it has inside. So. Starting from the heart of everything, this lovely Coyote engine. Uh, that size, stock size, or? It's a 5.2. Okay. So it's sleeve. Uh, it's got Darton sleeves in it. Okay. And uh, it's got good pistons, good rods, good crank. Something to hold everything that you can throw to it. Shit. That is going to be pushed through that lovely supercharger. We put the, the, the big Whipple on this thing. Okay. It's the 3.8 Whipple. So it should make all the power. It, well, how much of you think we're going to see here? Like a lot? Yes. Uh, That's good to know. 25 plus. 25 to 30 ish. Okay. So it's gonna, it should be enough to have a lovely power on this all wheel drive vehicle. Well, and if it's not, there's always, always nitrous that can go on top. <laughs> Just in case something, right? Some, something extra spicy. And behind that engine, we have a 10 speed transmission, right? 10R. 10R transmission. Which is the stock transmission that comes out in these trucks in the 18 plus. Okay. So uh, it, it's why we wanted to do it. And now that you guys can control it, that's the route we're going. Exactly. Coyote engine, Whipple, supercharger, 10 speed transmission, 100% everything control it on just one single unit, one single ECU doing everything. And I think that this thing is going to be beautiful on the track and hopefully it's going to have a nice result. Well, I mean, I would right. Though, considering you're the one who's going to tune it, <laughs> we are going to make. We are going to make it. We're, hopefully, this thing is going to be able to go fast and have a lovely drive, right? Man, it, regardless, uh, like I said, we have numerous race cars. We will never get this, but it's going to be heavy. It's going to be fun, uh, and we need it to be quick. Where you're going to be racing this? M mainly, obviously, no prep. Uh, on some of the stuff that they'll allow the, the all-wheel drive stuff. Okay. Uh, we understand that there, there's not a spot everywhere for the all-wheel drive stuff. Yeah. But when somebody else brings an all-wheel drive vehicle, we're going to have an all-wheel drive. Yeah. Yeah. And let me say, uh, hope to see, ya, to see you on the track. Hope to see you guys there having fun with this beautiful build. And again, take this thing to the track and uh, we see what this thing's capable of. You're going to be right there with us. Yes, sir. We are interviewing Kai Kelly today. Kai, you were over in Australia earlier this year for the Street Outlaws Australia deal. How did you like racing over there? It was fun. It was different. I've never been out of the country before, so... Yeah, we had, we had fun. All the people was nice. Uh, we didn't really like how it's food. You didn't like our food? No, our food was terrible. Let's you guys see, have bad coffee. Yeah. Let's see, I'm from uh, the south of the United States where food is really good, it's really seasoned. Oh, I see. Yeah. This is so, Apologies on yeah. Australia's behalf. Uh, if you ever find by New Orleans, just try something to eat. I'll try to eat. Well, in regards to your fuel tech, we know you didn't run fuel tech back in Australia, but 
you did have a conversation with us here at PRI last year. And we were talking about the car and basically that you wanted to run FinTech. Are you thinking about it? And you actually said to us that you were going to put it in the car and win a championship. And did you do that? Yeah, we did that. Uh, I don't know. The Nitro stuff I always had, it was with old school EFI technology. Real easy to use, EFI. So when we went to the screw blower combination, we just we had to have something that we don't control everything with one box. You know, because all my nitrous cars, I would plug it into the Davis box, I would plug it into the race pack, I would plug it into the fuel tech. Like so pretty much I had three different screens open all the time and uh, the fuel tech just worked out for us. So upcoming season for the No Prep Kings, are you excited? Are you looking forward to anything? Uh, try to win a championship again, you know, for the last four years. Three of those years I was number two, so it was easy going into the new season. And now I got a target on my back because I was number one last season, so uh, I got to back that up. No, no. Oh, we're looking for free. This is for free. No, no, we'll do that one for 100. I love this one. Let's go away here behind. That was terrible. That was terrible. Hand racing. Got too much time on his hands right now. All right. Woo. Next one. Oh, those bird dog birds. Oh, they're running. And they're gone. Oh. Oh. My name is Anderson Lig. I'm the founder and CEO for FuelTech. And uh, this, this particular show is probably the best we ever had. Uh, BRI 2023 is definitely the one to stay, to keep on the books. Uh, FuelTech is very, very proud to be here at the show. And we had an amazing show. We had so many people stopping by, uh, so many racers. Uh, we really accomplished so much of our uh, intentions on here and the show is definitely that's been definitely the best show we ever been here uh, but also besides of that we we bring we brought a lot of our products we brought obviously the FT700 the 700 is a product we've been working very very hard in the last three years uh, we we are getting very very strong steps over the last few months I mean the hardware case validations all these products and we're actually very far on the software implementation we're working to have it for the next few months ready but obviously we're not really rushing to to anticipate anything in a wrong way and absolutely working our best to have the product uh, finish the, the, the running best cars in the world we're also we're also very happy about the new facility in brazil uh, it's cool to to be able to show how much we are reinvesting into the growth, reinvesting into having a solid operation. Uh, as you guys seen, uh, or if you haven't seen, uh, we're going to add some images here. We just inaugurated, we just opened our new facility in Brazil. It's a 80,000 square feet facility. Uh, it's, it, it holds all our 190 employees in Brazil and uh, also brings a lot of five times more production capacity, even though during COVID and during all these years, we never really run uh, into missing inventory. We've been very successful uh, in terms of uh, manufacturing and keeping up on inventory, which is one of the reasons why we believe we've had such of a growth uh, in the last few years. Alongside, we've been investing a lot on technology, investing on R&D. We just this year itself, we increased our count of engineers by above 50 engineers full-time developing new products. Our Georgia facility is also going through some expansion. We're doubling our 10,000 to 20,000 square feet spaces. And uh, hey, again, it, it's been a blast year. It's been a great year. We're very happy to be finishing this year. And, and I really want to thank you. I appreciate all, all the employees, all the clients, everyone that did a really, really great job. So thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, this was an amazing year. Hope to see at the racetrack in 2024.